This thing's pretty good. So I got sent this Mucar OBD2 scanner. Actually comes with this little magnetic thing on the back. Pretty cool. You just pop it on here and it stays attached like that. Really, really handy. Bunch of stuff in the box. We'll go through that in a minute. But before that, I wanna show you what this thing can do. And what I do like about this scanner is I was able to just turn this on. I didn't have to create a login or do anything. I just turn it on um, immediately, plug this in, connect to the car. And I didn't have to do anything extra to get this working. A lot of these scanners, you do have to like create logins and connect online. You don't have to do any of that with this. It just, it just works out of the box, which is pretty slick. Monitoring wheel speed on four wheels for the Volkswagen, which is pretty cool. Most OBD2s won't read data channels like this, but this is neat. It graphs it out so we can see if one drops, then we know a wheel speed sensor is bad. All right, we've been driving for about 20 minutes. Now we're finally getting some drops on the purple on the rear left. Look at this, she's keep going. And now we're finally seeing an ABS light. So we think we've got probably a bad tone ring and we did think we had a bad wheel bearing in the rear left, which, well, my son thought it was rear left, didn't you? You thought it was rear left. You were like, sure. And everybody argued with him, including me. But his ears were right. It says rear left and look at that. See, it pays to have good tools like this. This Mucar, they sent me this tool. I didn't pay for it, but it is pretty sweet that you can graph out all the wheels and see this. It just totally did some troubleshooting for us that we didn't think was happening. All right, we're gonna try to do this anti-theft key matching because we've got this lovely new key fob here. I'm gonna go down here and select Toyota because we are in the Sequoia today. Ignition is switched on. North America, body control module type. We're gonna add the key. We don't wanna wipe the other one out. We have the remaining, it tells us we uh, have two remotes remaining and number of remotes that are registered are actually two. So now we're gonna press the lock and unlock simultaneously. Oh, looks like it worked. Just had to do it a couple times. Let's turn it off, turn it back on. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Just had to turn it off. Pretty slick with the uh, Mucar and their little Bluetooth. You can easily program. That was a little bit easier to program this because it just puts it into that body control module mode. I like too that it tells you how many uh, programs you have left because sometimes you don't know if, they, if they're already maxed out at like four or five or whatever the max is. You need to erase them first and then reprogram the ones you have. So now I got this new key fob. So they've got all these different functions. It's probably Android OS. And we're just gonna go to OBD and then enter. We're gonna try to turn the car to on and it says connecting to Bluetooth. It's pretty quick. That was actually really fast. Let's see how, you said your check engine light was on? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Let's see how fast it scans. Yep, so it says the mill status is on. Read fault code, P0139, oxygen sensor. So this O2 sensor comes up on this car all the time. We replace the oxygen sensors. We don't really know why it's coming up, but it tells you the description, the reason, repair suggestion. So I'm gonna clear, if we look here, I'm just gonna clear the code and my guess is this will go off until it throws the code again. Code's been cleared. Okay, now let's start it up. Yep, so there you go. Your code's cleared but it'll probably come right back. Yeah. But. So we know it works in older cars. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a, a power on. Now AI is kind of a dumb, I don't know, seems like a, a stupid buzzword for everything anymore. However, uh, I do think there's some value in delivering you information. So let's say you have a trouble code. Um, let's go ahead and read this Volkswagen. And I do think there's some value when you actually find trouble codes, the DTC codes. And now most of the time, if I find a DTC code, I'm going to actually go on my computer or something to find the information. So it'd be really nice if it's just integrated in this unit and it actually works. And I think that's a really good idea and use of your time. You don't have ads, you're just going to be able to click a button 
and hopefully get to a, a semi-decent answer. You can click the details of these codes and then do AI analysis here. And if you're connected to the internet, this is kind of cool. It just sends the code up and it's going to give you some information. It's actually, it's actually pretty useful. You know, of all the things that everybody touts the AI can do, this is the type of stuff that actually makes it useful day to day, um, which is, it's nice to see them integrating it into tools like this for DIY people or mechanics. I think this just saves people time. You know, you don't have to run over to a computer and do something. Um, you know, it tells you right here, the fault code B10AE31 is related to the occupant classification system, OCS, in a vehicle specifically indicating a sensor signal plausible failure. So it gives you some sort of an idea and then steps to fix. This is all probably from a service like maybe they're using ChatGPT or something, their API. But this is actually quite useful. You don't have ads and you can say if it's helpful, helpful or not. So you're getting human feedback. Um, but just to have this right here, um, pretty, I don't know, it's pretty neat, I think. You know, it's not going to solve every problem, but hey, it works. Let's do a Google search on this one. So it also just pulls open a standard Chrome web browser inside of here. And, you know, it's searching for specifically, it's kind of nice. It auto-populates It auto -populates all this information for you. So that is pretty slick. So in the box, you get a very nice bag does have a carrying handle which is pretty slick the bag is is a kind of a very durable nylon does have a network cable my guess is this is for the uh, bmw style f chassis connections does have a usb a to ethernet cable pretty decent size instruction manual you get the eight inch screen your bluetooth adapter you get your usb 2 um, this thing it really is. It's a nice screen. It's going to be tough to see here with all my lights on, but it does give you a lot of options. Auto search, you can just pick your brand and it'll automatically find uh, find out what protocol it's using. Same thing goes for OBD2. When you search for it, it automatically finds what you're looking for. Uh, it does have some interesting things here on the maintenance and upgrades, the vehicle diagnostics. You can do coding in this. Um, you can do uh, certain ABS bleeding, which is actually a really nice function. A lot of scanners don't do that. So it does have a lot of professional tools that um, a lot of those scanners don't have. So it's kind of in between those you know, cheap Bluetooth scanners that you get and something that can do a little bit more than those Bluetooth scanners. And what, what is really nice about these is when you get them in the car and you start doing the multiple graphing, like if you wanna see all four wheels on the screen, you can segment them out and you can see them laid out in a nice format. It's all wireless, uh, does have this nice little uh, magnetic OBD2 adapter. I think that's a really nice touch just to be able to stick it on there, put it on the bench and grab it. You, you just tend not to lose things like that. Uh, battery life's been pretty good. I haven't ever really been uh, freaking out on long sessions of, of decoding this Jetta and it does have the little uh, kickstand right here. So that's kind of nice if you want to set it up at an angle. Pretty, pretty easy to just set it down on the top of a car, inside a car and adjust that angle as needed. And then it, it folds flat, nice and easy. Extremely nice scanner for the money. Um, I know there's a lot of other scanners out there and you know you can do all sorts of systems in this. You got adaptive front lighting system reset, air suspension matching, airbag resets, anti-theft key matching, all sorts of functions on this. I'm obviously not going to be able to test all these. You can do uh, brake pad resets, electronic water pump starting, uh, ECU resetting, EGR adaption, all sorts of functions in this scanner. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'll link to it in the description. And in the box, as mentioned there, you do get the, uh, this is the F chassis cable with the network dongle. So this would be something uh, for like your BMW style vehicles there. And then you, you do get the USB-C cable and of course the uh, power adapters with USB for, for different countries. Let's do a quick restart on it. You can time it here, see how fast it reboots. This is a full reboot.
Yeah, not too bad. There's a lot of advantages to this. I think one one big advantage is that you get BMW, Volkswagen support, and pretty much every other car that's going to support OBD2. A lot of scan functions in here, a lot of writing tools, a lot of uh, tools like ABS bleeds, key recoding, all sorts of things in this uh, packed in one device. I like the format of the device. I like how it's got the nice magnet, the little kickstand on it. It does feel very well built, it has little rubber handles on the end. A lot of stuff feels cheap anymore to me. This doesn't feel cheap. It feels dense, kind of heavy, well put together. But when you consider a lot of scanners like this with probably a little more functionality or like two grand, 1500, two grand, I mean, they cost a lot more. I do think that this, this fits some niche of, you know, you, you don't want that little cheap OBD2 scanner that only works with your phone. They've got ads. You got to pay for upgrades to do anything. I didn't have to pay for anything to do everything I wanted on this. So uh, even scanning the Volkswagen stuff on this, normally they, all these other companies make you pay, you know, per module. Uh, this, you just log in. I was able to look at the ABS. I was able to look at pretty much everything that was available on the CAN bus on that Volkswagen, which is, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to read reviews. It depends on what car you have. If you've got Beamers, Volkswagen, and, and you're looking for something that does kind of Swiss army knife for not 1500, this might be a great tool for you to look at. Check them out on Amazon. Anyway, let me know if you have any experience with these. Um, Thanks for watching. Till next time.